Because when God sends you on assignments, He'll always give you some provision. Some of you are not willing to step out on faith because you can't figure out how you're going to work it out. But God says, the gold is mine. If I wanted to make Avenue the prettiest church, I could if I wanted to. Because I, the gold belongs to me. I can snap my finger and somebody come in here and write us a million dollar check. But that's not why I'm taking you over there. We need finances, don't get me wrong. But finances with no faith will lead to failure. But on the opposite side, faith with no finances will lead to frustration. I see the danger of looking back. I see how the prophet directs them to look up. But the last thing I see in this text is that after hearing the word from the Lord, they are determined to move forward. God gives them a prediction. He says, after a while, I'm going to shake some things up. Many commentaries argue on the point, is he talking about in the millennium? Is he talking about in the New Testament period? When, when is he going to shake it? But I, I don't know. I don't get into the arguments of when. Because when I look at this economy and how God can take people that used to get a pleasure out of turning people down, the people who used to control the money. Now they don't have any money. When they wouldn't loan you anything. Now they got their head out looking for a loan. I don't know about the millennium period, but I know right now God is shaking some things up. When you can take a people that was embedded in slavery, who are being beaten and hung just because of their skin color. And in a couple of days, you take a man with some funny looking ears and a funny name and put him in the White House. I see God starting to shake some things up. When you can see a church that only have a few members and you see where God is trying to take them. I don't know about you, but I see God. He's shaking some things up. Some of you, you got your bags packed. You ready to jump off the ship. You've become disgruntled. You've become disappointed. You've become dismayed. But I heard one songwriter says, be not dismayed. Whatever we touch. Avenue won't do it, but, but, but God said, I will. Make a way. Somehow. The good news about this text is that when God tells you that he's going to do some shaking, he tells us that, don't worry about it. I'm going to give you some peace. Yes, sir. Preacher, are you saying that just moving to a new location, uh, are we not going to have church conflict? Are you saying that just moving to another location, we're not going to have any more sickness in the church? Or are you saying that when we go to a new location, we're going to get out before 1230? Are you, or are you saying that when we go into a new location, the atmosphere is going to change? Or are you saying that when we go to a new location, there won't be any more deaths. There won't be any more sickness. I'm not saying that that's not what Haggai is saying. But he did say after a while. He said God is going to fill this house. And he says what I'm getting ready to fill it with. Can you compare to what you used to? I come and tell you Avenue that when God fills the new house. He's not going to fill it. 
gonna just furnish it. He's not gonna just fill it with nice pews. He's not just gonna fill it with nice carpets. But God says, I'll fill it with my glory. And I don't know about you, but every day I love to be in the presence of his glory. Because when you're walking in the presence of his glory, they can scandalize your name. But if I'm walking in his glory, I know that I'm also walking in his favor. The Bible says, after what? And I don't know how long after a while it's going to be. Because the Bible tells me that a day with him is like a thousand years. So I don't know if the after a while is going to come on February 1st. But the Bible tells me that at one time he's going to do some serious shaking. And the Bible says that when we leave this house, those of us who have walked upright, those of us who have kept the faith, we got another house that's not located at 901 West 70th. We got another house where there won't be no more sickness. Anybody ever heard about that new house where there won't be no more tears? I'm talking about a new house where there won't be no more sickness in your body. I'm talking about a new house where no more disappointments, no more heartaches, and no more pains. Can I look for you in the new house? Don't have to worry about the grievous at the door because I want to see my Savior's face in the new house. The Bible tells me the streets are made with gold. In the new house, we don't have to worry about what time the worship is going to end because every day will be Sunday and Sabbath will have no end. I'm so glad that 901 is not my final destination. 